Hello chat. How's it going guys? How are you? Oh, it's good to see you. It's good to be here on a warm June evening on the 12th of June 2021 at 8.05 p.m. How are we all doing? How are we all? Have you been, have you, have you missed the chill streams, huh? You missed them. Oh, look at all these subs coming through. Holy crap, that's a lot. Should we try and do them? Should we try and do all of them today, chat? It's going to be hard, but I'll give it a go. Every single sub I'm going to read out is over three, six months of time. And I'm going to give a special shout out to anyone who's over a year. Uh, so, Wish Her Luck, Violet Coloured, Beom Yukin, Bridget Ferris, Ruskles with the 12 months, Liv Trig, Nanny, Lemon X Cardboard, Cody FTDT with the 90 months, 90 months, holy shit, my guy, so proud of you, salute, thank you, Cody, it's good to see you still hanging around here and chilling out, nice to see you, and Simbabu with the 12 months, thank you very much, Shimji, Cryptid Assassin, Ink MCC, Wills the Wisp, Celeste, maybe, Uni TTVV, Macy290 with the 26 months, thank you so much, Macy, she says 20 six smiley face thank you thank you macy maddie fyd chloe fx jar of marmalade erin t sky solution wallister sempricx molly bid oh wait sempricx with the 14 months they say hello wilbur so thank you sempricx it's the bees knees live ellie sophia with the 14 months pippity seven with the seven uh minty misty k8 may lab lumile yanis huang hitsky aceberg uh oh bella my name isn't lucas own sketch Pinkman, a writer, Feddy, of course, Spooks, Starry Lux, Mango Fizzy, Jess Distressed, A Bat, Sweetie Lynx, Rubu Boo, Light General, I and I, holy crap, there's still a whole fucking. Um, <laughs> uh, I and A, Shylaw, Equinix, DJ Fox Live, MB Swag, Emily GF54, Identify Me, I'm in Love with October, Peachy Skate, Rosebuds, Sid the Slotho 2, Better Loves, Lou Blues, Boomica, Maladella Mefeo, IL Style, Will Be Cow, Peachy Mate YT, Tap Moog, Athena's Ravenclaw Hunter, Scribbles, That One Papercut, Nikki Low, Abby, Sapling, Mr. Bird Jesus, and Bub Bub Bird! Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for subbing and being here for so long. And thank you to all of you in the chat for coming down. Just as just as important, I would say. How are you all doing? Is it sunny where you are? Are you warm? Are you enjoying the sun? Are you vibing? I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow, chat. It's going to be very fun. Been waiting a long time. Any vaccinated bros in the chat? <laughs> Any vaccine brothers and sisters and others in the chat? It's very hot here. Good. Good. I want it to be hot. I want it to be boiling hot. And I want you to be comfy and enjoy it. <laughs> and if you like the cold, don't worry. <laughs> Why? 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 Why, why, why have you done this to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Here we go. If it's hot outside, why are you in here watching me and not outside in the sun right now, chat? That's my question for you, huh? I'm gonna guilt you. I'm gonna guilt you for, for whatever reason you might not be out in the sun, that's me. And some of you might be not able to go out in the sun. If so, I'm here. I'll hear, I'll be, I'll try and be as much of a sunny person as I can be for you who can't go outside today. And for those of you who can go outside today and are deciding to watch me instead, uh, I say thank you. But deep down I'm like, why? Deep down I'm like, why? Deep down I'm saying, what? Fucking bastard! You're a bastard. You're a fucking bastard. Deep down I'm saying, I'm thinking, why? Deep down I'm thinking, why aren't you outside enjoying the sun? You know? and, and maybe, maybe you could bring me out with you, huh? We can watch Robot Wars outside in the sun, wherever you are. God, that's so weird, man. Out in the in the midst of America, in the in the middle of in the middle of Canada, over in in Argentina, the Philippines, you're all gathered round. I am going to have an aneurysm. I'm going to aneurise. <laughs> no matter where you are in the world, you could be you could be American, you could be Swedish, you could be Dutch. Hello, you could be French. Spanish, you could be Italian, you could be Filipino, you could be Australian, you could be Russian, you could be anywhere from, from fucking, come on, from Morocco to, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, 
<laughs> do I just hold it? Am I, do, am I a pundit today, chat? <laughs> How are we all doing? How are we all doing? I'm going to be a pundit today. Or do I keep trying? Which way does it even rotate? Wait, is it broken? Fully? No way. No way. No dice. No dice. Surely not. Surely fucking not. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Microphone. Just twist on to there. Have do I've done it. Wait, so if I turn this now and put this there. Hands free. Motherfuckers, we're back. Hi. <laughs> We've done it. Is my mic scuffed? Have I been scuffed mic this whole time? Uh, I haven't. I don't think. Good. Good. No scuff mic today. Uh, yeah, so how crazy is it that we're all connected right now, chat? No matter where you are in the world, anywhere, anywhere in the world. I saw some Malaysia in the chat. Good morning. And no matter where you are in the world, Portugal, Romania, wonderful. We're all here together right now, and we're all we're all going to join in and have fun together. Isle of Wight, that's not a country. <laughs> Turkey. We've got Israel, Finland. God. Czechia, Slovakia. California's also not a country, as much as you may want it to be. Northumberland is definitely not a country. <laughs> uh, Vietnamese should be sleeping. Well, well, you know what? This vod will be here for you tomorrow as well, unless I unless I unless I get shot and I can't and I and, and they say, "Hey, take down the fucking vod," and then it won't be there. Greece, seeing a lot of Greece actually. Hello, Greece. Uh, Pakistan, Estonia, France, Wyoming. It's not a country. Bulgaria, Iceland, Iraq. Really, that's amazing. Uh, Denmark, Lithuania, Hong Kong. Uh, Philippines, Lithuania, I've said those ones. God, so Brazil, India, Kurdistan, Kurdistan. Where is Kurdistan? Hold on. We've reached a gap in my geography knowledge. Kurdistan. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Oh, hello. Hello, Kurdistan. Welcome all aboard. Welcome all aboard. I'm going to stop reading out countries now. <laughs> We're not playing GeoGuessr. Actually, do you fancy playing GeoGuessr? We'll play GeoGuessr today as well. I'm in the mood for it. We um we have no plans today, chat. No plans at all. Colette, thank you for the 20, man. We have no plans. Uh, My plan today is... I, I, I came in with... Because I like to come in with a plan. They're getting vaguer and vaguer as I'm getting further and further into my streaming career. We're, we're over two and a half years of streaming now, chat. Which is crazy because... I started playing on the Dream SMP when I had like a year and a bit. So like, I, I'm like, I, I was a new boy streamer, but now I'm quite an old streamer. Uh, in, in modern day, I'm quite an old streamer, but I know there's so many new ones. I feel boring. I live in England. You are not boring for living in England. England has a very rich history and you're a part of that. You're, you're here. So no matter what issues your country's had in the past and no matter what awful, awful things, you are the future of that country. Never be ashamed. Never be blindly patriotic. Be aware. Learn about what your country did. But be proud that you can change that and you can make it a better place. Do it. However you may feel. If you, if you feel that you can make it a better place on Twitter. If you feel you can make it a better place out in the streets protesting. You do it. Go out and do that, man. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. We're here today. We have no plans. I have one plan, though. And I want to make sure. I want to make sure that I'm reading chat today. Well, that's going to be the... That's going to be chat's job today. You guys are. You guys just have to talk to me, and my job will be to read you and 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 talk to you because I spend. I I, I used to read only my donations and subs. Eve Street, thank you for the twenty five. But now I'm I, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but like I I, I it's so many come through now. I'm tr I try, but it's hard. Honey Bubble Tea says they're extra, excited for the destruction of robots. Me too. Me too. That's one of the ideas I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm so I'm so glad you're all here. Anyway, hi Waffle Sock or whatever you're called. How about how about you fucking shut up? All right, I will I will end you <laughs> in a video game. <laughs> will be you should visit Malta. I'd love to visit Malta. It looks so dry. Maltese people, is it dry as hell there? Like I I see it all the time and I'm like and I'm like this place looks like I touch a wall and I like I need moisturizer immediately. Like you know what I mean? It looks amazing. It looks beautiful. It looks like a 
it's a really interesting mix of like of like of like mediterranean and sort of almost middle eastern architecture i don't know it's it's really cool i love it i would love to visit malta for sure but it seems so dry it seems so dry Wilbur, what's your favorite color that teal oh god yeah, this is a bit oh god oh sorry i had to look at my armpits that i didn't realize this shirt was so loose <laughs> Croatia. I'd love to go to Croatia. I, I, if I go to Croatia, I want to see. I want to see all of it, though. You know, I don't want to be one of those people that goes to Split and comes back and is like, "It's so cheap." You know, <laughs> like I'd love to go and actually see all of it. You know, experience all of it. And and Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, love to see too. That cyan. It's teal. It's teal. I'm sorry. It's teal. Look. Let me Google teal. You'll see. Right. Teal. Here we go. Chat, it's not cyan. There you go. That's teal, right? Are we on the same page? It's teal? In fact, I would I'd argue that's cyan. Aquamarine. Who knows? It's not teal. It's cyan. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. <laughs> oh... How about the Netherlands? I have spent many, many years in the Netherlands. I'm sure you know that. You long-term fans will know about my time in the Netherlands. I have a very interesting history with the Netherlands. Ik hoef aan de Nederlands. The Nederlands. One fucking idiot. How about Finland? Yeah, Finland. Why are we... we I can, look, chat, there's very few places I don't want to go. I'll be honest with you. What, from my traveling, I've learned that that like most places that I'm warned about are really really nice. Like I, I like okay one of the big ones. This is this is just a relevant example. This isn't a specific one, right? But I really want to go and visit Mexico, right? And Quackity's offered to show me around. He's offered to like you know get, basically just like chaperone me around, which is so cool because that's that is the best way of learning about a country and a culture is to have a like a friend show you around who's like native. Or at least very familiar. And um, I had loads of people warning me, like, don't go to Mexico. And I was like, why? And they were like, they just started listing off these stereotypes that just felt like they just watched one episode of Breaking Bad and had decided that was the entire place. Uber drivers too were warning me about Tijuana, but the be fair, Quackity also warned me about Tijuana. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know, but I want to visit Mexico a lot. What tea are you drinking? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I'd love to go to Brazil too. Wait, did Wilbur go to Mexico? I haven't. I haven't. I've only been to that continent once. I went went to well, I, I went, when I was a kid. So my, my parents got married in Vegas, uh, and I was there. <laughs> I was I was there at my parents' wedding in Vegas. So um I I but I don't remember it. I was I was like super young. Mans was Mans was Mans was young, and I, I um and I and I, yeah. Uh, so I've been to Death Valley too. And I've been to like the southern southwest of America, and I and I went to San Diego recently, and it was the nicest city I've ever been to in the world. Holy crap, San Diego was lovely. America, you ah, oh, you I love you, America, man. You beautiful country, beautiful country. Las Vegas, I am going to Las Vegas. I've decided I want to go to America this year with Jack Manifold. Still, I know we've kind of we put that on the back burner because of Lovejoy. But I still am going to go. I, I refuse not to. I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow, like I said. So I'll be all ready. Well, I'll have to get my second dose first. But, you know. Have you ever been to Italy, Will? Yes, I lived in Italy for 10 months. Wait, nine months. I lived in Italy for an amount of time. A ba Oh, yeah, a baby. Nine months. I don't remember. It was a time. But, um, yeah, Italy was lovely. Very strange. My favorite story about Italy was how I would brush my teeth and this man would come up and shout Margaret Thatcher at me while I was brushing my teeth out the window. <laughs> yeah. If it's in Europe, I've probably been, chat. If you're asking me if I've been to a country in Europe, I've probably been. Russia. I haven't been to Russia. No. I think Russia I'd have to think about a lot. I'm not sure I'm as keen. Random Moose. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm sure the Russian people are lovely. I've met so many lovely Russian people. It's more the government uh, I'd be a bit worried about. Not worried, just concerns about funding, you know. You've lived in all these countries. You just asked me the two that I ha I have, which is... I I wouldn't even say I lived in them. I stayed. Stayed is a way better word. The Netherlands and Italy. I stayed for a long time. 
Uh, Poland? Yeah, I went to Poland. Yeah, yeah I've been, it was Europe I've been, chat. <laughs> you can, well, apart from like Latvia. I haven't been to Latvia. I haven't been to Lithuania. I have been to Estonia. Yeah, okay. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't been to that many places. Should we change the subject now? Let's move on to a new thing. What, are you going on tour with Lovejoy? At some point, yes, for sure. I want more songs. Uh, I've been working on a bunch. We have some cool ones. Hold on, I want to play the beginning of one. Through my phone. Look at this. This is going to be the worst. The worst teaser you're ever going to hear. Uh, so what I do, chat, is um, I record uh, with um, voice memos to remember everything. Uh, it's like the most common thing. So you can see we've got like all this. I basically just record with voice memos all the stuff I need to like remember for next time so that you can see. I basically just number all the songs when it loads. Come on. Focus on this, not my face. There we go. So you can see I've got like the BPM and, and stuff and what key it's in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's how I remember all the songs, right? And this is one of them. Hold on. I don't know how well you can hear this. I'll show you the first verse. It's 3.45, I, I just bite my tongue, update me on your life, and now you found the one, but I don't like his eyes, and I distrust the name, and I hate their haircut, they look like a prick. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. It's just, we, I want to write bops that are, that are boppy, and that you can dance to and shout, and they, they're not all going to be very deep. Uh, one of the complaints I had from uh, my EP with Lovejoy was that my lyrics weren't personal enough. They were a bit too, they were a bit too much leaning into the just dancing and having fun kind of vibe. So I've tried to write songs that are a little bit personal to me, but also are still like, hey, fucking, you know, you can go crazy with. That's the kind of, that's the vibe I want now. I'm, I'm trying to learn. I've had so much criticism from the last album. Uh, I think generally people gave it about a six out of 10 on like, there's like album of the year, which is like a website for reviewing music. And it's got like a six, which I think is very fair. Uh, Rose Allen thing with five good subs. Yeah, it's uh, out, where is it? I'll go look at it. I wanna see what we actually got. Uh, are you all right review? Yeah, uh, album of the year. Yeah, but we got a 66 out of 100. Which is very, very fair, I think. This is, this is, inc and I think the criticism is, is very just. So, uh, people, yeah, people are really lovely. People are very kind and people, and people, you know, they, they voice their complaints in a very serious way. And I completely agree with almost all of it. It's like, basically, the big issue with the album is the mixing. <laughs> I think we figured. The big issue is sort of, is the mixing and the production. And it's not the fault of the mixing artist at all. Cameron fucking nailed it. It's my direction to Cameron. So the, the best mixed songs are the ones that I had no input on. Basically, one of the things I said to Cameron was, I want the vocals to be so high on the mix that it sounds like a musical. You know, like it's like Hamilton-esque. Like I want, it, I want people to listen to it. And it's like the lyrics drive the entire song, right? Is there a raid? I don't know where from. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, and that it sort of drives the song with the vocal performance. And he was like, yeah, sure. And he, he sent it back and I went, perfect. And then everyone was like, the vocals are all too loud. And I was like, that's my bad. So yeah, if you if you, <laughs> if you have a problem with the mix, it's not Cameron's fault. Cameron is amazing to work with and I can't recommend him enough. And I'm going to be working with him again, so. Mm. Dream Raid. Was Dream streaming? Hello, Dream. Thank you for raiding me if you did. Otherwise, my chats are just lying and that's that's fine too. Hello, hello, liars. Liars are welcome in my chat too. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, the new album. For, if you don't know, by the way, I'm in a band. <laughs> I should have probably mentioned that. I'm so bad at just assuming you guys know everything about me. I'm in a band uh, called Lovejoy. And uh, we released our first EP exactly a month ago today, yesterday. Two days ago, sorry. On the 10th of May, we released our first EP uh, to, to, mass to massive support. And I can't thank you enough. And, uh, and then uh, I'm releasing the album this coming few months maybe we haven't even finished half the songs yet so i don't know why i'm giving you a date because there's nothing set and i haven't sorted out a manager and i haven't got ah i don't know what's going on i've got so much to do i'm the band manager right now 
which is mental. I, <laughs> it means I'm answering all these emails and doing all this stuff that I just have very little knowledge of. Oh, man. But yeah, I know I always talk about how I hate my own music and stuff. I know I always say that. And I, I, know I can understand that would upset some of you who really like it. But Are You All Right by Lovejoy, I am happy with it. I was listening to it on the way here. Yeah, I listen to my own music. Fucking get off my case. And uh, and I was listening to it on the way here. And I'm still happy with it. Uh, I'm really happy with, with Sex Cells. Uh, despite how loud I forced the vocals to be in the mix. I'm, my favourite's Taunt. Uh, I like, yeah. So, man, it's good. I like it. Don't fit, like, oh, I know I don't like your city gave me asthma, or maybe I was boring, or most of my stuff, but I like this. Okay, don't worry. I like this one. <laughs> Where did the name Lovejoy come from? My friend Benedict. I have a friend called Benedict, who some of you may know, some of you very old fans of me. Uh, 319 only, thank you for the five. Some of you very old fans of me may have heard of Benedict. And Benedict is um, one of my friends. He used to be my drummer. Uh, for a while he did the drumming on i'm in love with an ego he did the drumming on jubilee line saline solution he's a really smart guy really eve street thank you for the 10 really smart 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 uh, da, da, da. really smart guy uh and yeah he he is like one of our best friends uh he would hang out with me and joe joe is sort of like the co co-founder of lovejoy with me and uh and we would hang out all the time and we decided we we were originally called hang the dj was our band name which i've been told is a better name by people <laughs> so but we went with lovejoy we were called hang the dj originally and um uh and benedict used to come and sit with us as we wrote songs and benedict was benedict basically was one of the first people to come through and give like the thumbs up on all the songs and uh, and he's and he will be for this next album too he'll be the one to sit and give us the thumbs up and uh yeah, so and so we decided to name the al name the band after him because we love his surname and yeah. Thank you. Lovejoy. Lovejoy, that is his surname. There you go. Lovejoy sounds so beautiful. Thank you. I like the name Lovejoy. I like the name Lovejoy. Lovejoy beloved. Uh Where will you go on tour? Uh that's a good one. Um I don't know yet. Basically, that's up to the booking manager. Essentially, right, we want to get this album out. And one of the reasons the EP was put out as a four track, as opposed to saving those four tracks into an album for the summer, was because the band, we needed money. <laughs> uh, the, the drummer, bassist, lead guitarist, you know, we all needed basically an excuse to work on this album and not have to worry. Because Joe was originally a tree surgeon, Mark the drummer is like he he works uh, in like in like visual effects and stuff and Ash I don't know what Ash does he he doesn't talk much he's just a silent man I met in a burger shop uh but like they we all needed money to work on this stuff so that we could basically say look I'm quitting my job because I need to do this so that's why we released it as a four track quickly uh we sent the money out to the band and now we have now our entire we are focused rehearsing rehearsing as a band fully twice a week we're writing every day. We're constantly in the group chat shooting ideas back and forth. It's going to be fun. Silent Man in a Burger Shop. Yeah, that's how I met Ash. <laughs> Ash was in a burger shop and he had a bass on his back. And I went, hi, are you in a band? And he went, no. And I went, do you want to be? And he said, yes. And I said, here's my address. <laughs> and he just does it. He's great. He doesn't say much. Oh, Ash, he's a quiet guy. He's very funny, though. He's got... It was his idea to do the bus in the One Day music video. Uh, he's the one on the bus who comes and he's playing the bass. Uh, he, it was That was his idea. And uh, he pissed off the bus driver by telling the bus driver he was going to get off at the next stop. And then he just silently didn't. And then silently got off and didn't say a word. I don't know if he paid. I reckon he paid. Legally, I think he paid. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's a silent boy. Uh, I think he just doesn't like talking much uh in interviews and stuff we ran one interview recently and ash just didn't say they asked ash questions he just doesn't talk he doesn't say a word uh, he's lovely though he's not doing it out of spite he's just just bass boy bass boys like that mark's lovely mark's great mark's just funny mark's mark's very unintentionally funny though <laughs> I don't think he knows how funny he is, but he is funny. He ends up being the punching bag for our group a bit, and I feel bad. When we were writing in the Isle of Wight, he was, we were just taking the piss out of Mark the whole time. Mark's the one who's given you all the content anyway. We have loads more content. I've told him to not post it yet, though. 
uh, I want him to post it in the lead up to the album so that, to get you all talking about it. <laughs> so you guys will get more behind the scenes content then. Anyway, let's move on from the band. I'm sure you guys didn't tune in to, to listen to the band, talk about the band. Oh yeah, Mark is so talented as well. Have you fucking heard it? Listen to the drumming. If ever you're going to listen back to Lovejoy, listen to the drumming specifically, right? He's a fucking legend. Only, only Mark can make an indie song sound good with a triple kick. <laughs> Uh, Wilbur, my merch just came in. Awesome! Pog. Uh, anything about date of concert? Wait, no, nothing yet, man. Sorry. Well, I'll let you know. You, you'll you see it. I'll probably, I'll probably get my guy to post it on Twitter. Oh, I, I've, I've relinquished my Twitter account to, um, to a friend. I, I now have a Twitter manager who basically their job is to go on Twitter and just retweet and post stuff for me. Uh, I will go on there occasionally. I still have the password, obviously, but... If ever you see retweets and things, that won't be me. Uh, not because I'm too good for Twitter. Rather, uh, I'm not a bit. I'm not the biggest fan of Twitter. It's fine. I like. I like what people try and do, but I feel like it's 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 falls on deaf ears. And I, I think there's there's other ways. Well, love joy merch. Love joy merch. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I want to make sure we've got a bit more. Before I start asking you guys for money, I like to make sure I've given you guys a lot first. You know. So if there's like if 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 um. If I'm going to be making merch, I'm going to be making it after we've made some more things for you. Be it acoustic versions, music videos, albums, you know. I want to make sure you guys have stuff before I start saying, money please, you know. This feels a bit, feels a bit rude to start being like, <laughs> you know. Have you been to Latvia? I haven't, no. Soft boy, we need soft boy, soft boy, soft boy, soft boy is shelved. That doesn't mean it's it's given up on. I'm still I I went back and had a look at it lately and it and it and it upset me because of how bad it is. It's it's a well written song. I'm happy with the writing. It's just it's just so badly made the version I did. And I got I got so much help and the fucking the bass is amazing and the backing vocalist did such a brilliant job. She did amazing. And I I wish I could tell you about it, but I can't because I still might do it. Oh, and it's so good. But the problem is I I just fucked it up. I bottled it, mate. And there's not enough hours in the day to, to make it good, you know? It's not over. Soft Boy will come. It will come. And I'll probably suddenly drop it out of nowhere. But at the moment, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bo Burnham. Have I seen Bo Burnham's new special? Yes, I have. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Uh, I really like... Uh, welcome to the internet, obviously. Uh, I don't know the names of the songs. I like the first one a lot. Uh, with the, uh, if you have some fire, call me and I tell you a joke. I, I liked it. I liked it. It was good. It was good. It, it, um, it was less of a comedy special, though. I think it was falsely labeled as a comedy special. It's more of a, a, a character study. A, a, a really good character study and I think I think the very the problem I have is where everyone who dislikes Bo Burnham special went into it with the idea that it was a a silly comedy like his other stuff but it's actually a dark comedy it's a dark comedy character study of of him as as so basically when you when you put yourself out there on the internet and into the world you are a character none of you know me uh, and I know that's that's I know that can sometimes come across as quite callous and I get people telling me like Your streamer doesn't care about you and shit because I don't tell you about my life But like that's just that is naturally you become the character on the internet that you that, Sorry, you you make a character on the internet and as much as I try and be as real with you guys as possible I am often real with you and there are times I will be more real with you than other times like if I'm if I'm if I'm telling you especially if I'm uh, addressing something I've done in the past I'm not proud of if I'm talking to you about like my life or why I might be taking a break or you know when I go into serious depressing <laughs> not happy subjects I will be really real with you but normally like now I'm I'm acting up if the, if we were in a pub right now talking I would be the quiet one not saying much but because I understand I've got an audience I'm talking and I'm, I'm, I'm public speaking and I, I'm not very good at public speaking. <laughs> so, so yeah, anyway, naturally, you end up becoming a character and Bo Burnham special is in and of itself a character study of the Bo Burnham character stripped down to an almost desperate idea of, of his person. 
This is my interpretation. I don't know. Is the, the Bo Burnham may laugh at that and say, "No, it's wrong. No, it's, it's it's me through and through." And that may be true, but you know, it feels it feels like such a such a raw look at his character. And I think that's really really cool. I think that's really cool that he did that, and I really love it. I love it a lot. The idea, but I think it's good. <laughs> I, I've watched it twice, and I think that might be it. I don't think I'm going to watch it again. Uh, but yeah, it was good. I'm really happy. Would you be friends with him? They say never meet your heroes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Bo Burnham's kind of my idol. I'm, I'm, I'm a massive Bo Burnham stan. <laughs> He's such a cool guy. <laughs> he's, I've been a fan of Bo Burnham since his YouTube days and he's my biggest inspiration in all of my early music and my and even my later music your new boyfriend's big Bo Burnham energy yeah he's he's my he's my he's my my inspiration man and everyone needs one everyone needs one what song is this this is the album Nice Snakes by Yotam Peril yeah man everyone needs a role model I think and uh, I, and like, I feel like I, I'm a bit of a crap role, mo role model. I wouldn't, I wouldn't base yourself off of me ever. I'm not a role model. That's why people, people have asked me to tattoo the tattoo stuff, like, and I find that I, I don't think I'm worth. I don't think you should do that. I'm not enough of a role model. But what I do want to be is I want to be an inspiration. I want you guys watching this. If you're into music, if you want to live stream, if you want to make Minecraft content, hell, if you just want to sit and be have fluffy hair and talk to a webcam in front of a fucking neon sign, then yeah, I want to inspire that. You know, that's the goal. That's the that's the mwah. That's the that's my. I feel like that's almost my purpose. Have I met Fundy in real life? Yeah, I have. I've got very many photos with him. Um, yeah, I want that to be my purpose. You know, but I don't want to be a role model. <laughs> don't let me don't make me your role model please don't base yourself off me or idolize me just just go out and be your own idol man go out and be your own role model you can do it it no matter how many years it takes i'm being so deep today i'm being so deep hashtag deep i'm being, I'm being so deep man <laughs> oh how you're too late wow amazing inspo <laughs> thank you I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm. I'm just. I'm. You know. We're, we're. We all out here trying our best. We're. We're. We're all trying our best. You know. All of us. Not just me. All of you are. Have you met Dream IRL? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I'd like to. I'm sure Dream. Would, I'd, I'd really like to meet Dream IRL. I'd thank him. I'd thank him for all his help and all he's done for the community. Yeah. See, I'm in a deep mode. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a glass of water and when I come back, I want chat to be just talking about the most nonsense shallow. I want you all to be saying come. I want you all talking about the least deep shit. We're moving on. We're not talking deep anymore. Be right back. Come, Among Us, boobies, boobies, Among Us, bread. I've been being recognized a lot lately, uh, which I think is down to the fact that COVID's coming to an end, it feels like, and people are outside, and I sort of grew during the coronavirus. So it's one of those cases where I, I haven't been outside in, a, in about a month or two and not been recognized, which is, which sounds, it's, it's very flattering and, and cool. It's fun as hell. I love being recognized, man. But at the same time, holy shit, I'm bad at meeting strangers. I just stand there silently. I don't know what to do. I just, I feel like such a weirdo, man. Anyway, I want to watch something with you guys. When I was a kid, <laughs> When I was a kid, I was really into uh, this TV show called Robot Wars, which I'm sure most of you know. Uh, most of you probably know the American version, right? And the Ameri and 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 I feel like I feel like a lot of people may not have seen it now. But what it is is basically a TV show where a bunch of smart engineers and like robotics people basically build these big metal machines covered in weapons like axes and saws and fucking high and flamethrowers and then they put them in a big fucking ring and just say go 
fucking fight each other. And that's really cool. And when you're a kid, when I was a kid, it's fix your screen, it's not even. It was kind of done on purpose, but I can do that. It's just so I don't cover up the screen, you know? So I, I thought that was really cool when I was a kid. And now I'm older, I still think it's really cool. <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. And uh, I found out today that all of the episodes are on YouTube. So I thought we should watch them together because that's really, really cool. <laughs> are you ready, chat? I have a favorite. I have a favorite robot, man. I have a favorite robot and I want to talk to you about it. His name is his Razor. His name is Razor. The robot's called Razor. The peace has been shattered. Diplomacy failed. Oh. The robots are back. Wait, it's all okay, okay. Before we continue, I just want to say... The UK, I've watched the UK and the US one, right? And if you've never seen the UK Robot Wars, you are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, man. Okay, so the UK Robot Wars, right? In the US, there's a rule that if you if you fight too much, you, you have to stop. Like, because it gets too, it gets too, like, it gets too, um... It gets like they don't want to break the robots. The UK Robot Wars has no such rule. You keep going until the other robot is just shards of metal on the ground. And the people up there, they have these little people with the little remote controls up in the, uh, up in the little studio area. And they all watch. And like they watch the fight, right? And in the UK one, you just watch them stood there with their remote control. Just their, their face just... As their entire thing's being torn to shreds. Oh, it's Schadenfreude. It's so good, man. I, you were gonna, if you've never seen the British one. At war and the battle lines have been drawn. So prime your weapons to defeat the faint-hearted. That's we Matilda. Put the scrap back into metal. Right, so let, let me just explain. In the in the corners of the arena, there's going to be these things called the house robots, which are controlled by like the studio like directors, and they're like really powerful. And if you go near them, you're fucked. That's it. I've just described the entire story. I've just described literally the entire TV show. That looks sexual. I hope not, actually. Stop. But, like, I've described the entire TV show. There's not much left Ladies to not understand. Please welcome your commander in chief, Craig Charles. Yes, my boy! taking over the world, then wonder no more. Because Robot War is back. And it's bigger, it's more destructive, bigger. and offers more metal carnage than when Metal Mickey tried to juggle with Sentex. Robot Wars is a survival of the fittest. How old is this one? Like 2001, 2002? Figure hugging lycra. They're ugly lumps of metal made out of nuts and bolts. And made out of nuts. Old appliances and whatever was left lying around the garage at the time. Oh, and yeah. Oh, he's got a great they accent. They want to kill each other. I want to. I'll show you when my favourite one comes up. I'll show you when my favourite one comes up. Was that Panic Attack? I think that was Panic Attack. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That you need a bit more power on, on that. I feel like it needs a bit more power on this. This this axe thing. I get what they're trying to do, but like <laughs> they need to get a little bit more force behind that. I think. Where's Razor? Razor's my. There's Panic Attack. That's Panic Attack. The yellow one. Of the house robots. You can forget the ferocity of shunt capable of cleaving all opponents in two with the deadliest of Captains, axes. Yeah, Matriarchal oh, Matilda also. returning with improved they don't, titanium auto, tusks. Auto, auto captains don't do British actions very well. Auto captains fuck up on British actions. Dead metal holding on to his sinister reputation with those pneumatic pincers and a ferocious new, I want some pneumatic sword. pincers, dude. The sergeant when I was a kid, this was my favourite one. I was a plane crew. Look at that. That was my favourite one. Catch kid. your breath. There's <laughs> one more. The biggest, baddest, richest <laughs> of them all. Ladies and gentlemen, bow down to the mechanical might of Sir Killalot. Yeah, this one's supposed to be like the big the one, but he's like. Capable of cutting through solid steel. Sir it just looks kind of like the same as the others. Now, I wouldn't go near that. Craig. Craig, careful, Craig. Craig, careful. Craig, careful. God, awesome fuck you up, right okay we get we get it we get it let's get to the fun bit okay 
So they're going to be introducing the competitors for this. For this. For this it may look like a wind up go kart, but this tubular steel frame, crap. That looks aluminium like and steel that one's plated armor, like V-shaped that one. robot, Victor. has weapons driven by a motorbike I thought that meant it starter, one. and the lawnmower blade can be replaced yeah. by a formidable player. Nah, shit. Flail. Fuck that one. Fuck Victor. Victor's going down, man. Victor's going down. <laughs> The veteran fighters from the first. Ne oh my the god, that's too big. With the flame-colored napalm, a 15 mile an hour top that speed. That one's even worse. These ones are shit. It can push its own weight, and the chainsaw has a 16-inch blade. I'm not. I'm not. I'm from not. Burgess Hill in West Sussex. Burgess Hill in West Sussex, Sussex was near me. Okay, this one looks cool. This one looks cool. He went to France that's to cool. To create pandemonium. The outer coatings yeah, imported wheels from a French hypermarket. <laughs> That's what you like to know, that they got wheels from a supermarket. The bog the resistance is the oh god, struggling to move forward. Oh, that's, that's bad, shovel. I could make that. Its, its weapon is a oven. shovel. Its, its weapon is a fucking shovel, chat. From Sutton in Surrey, Caliban. Named after the beast in Shakespeare's Tempest and hoping to These whip up a shit. storm. These look shit. What's happened? Built from a bolted Dexian frame powered by two 12-volt oh, batteries. Oh, God, it looks like a fucking upside-down bucket. slashing and cutting weapons. That's crap. I only like Pandemonium with the, with the, the French supermarket wheels. Demolition Demon. Powered by two okay, okay. That looks a, li a little bit cool. Is that a big saw on the back? Is that a saw? Turn us around. Oh, it's got a grinder. Okay, cool. Cool. Wheelchair motors, motors donated by Dorset County Council. To me. It's all very simple. Each of our robots will face a variety of challenges. Oh, I'm not interested. Three rounds. Um, it hasn't sold me, chat. It hasn't sold me. Let's try it. Let's just to see. I want to get. I want to get a. I want to get a feel for these robots quickly. Hold on. Let's let's meet them. Ah, oh, here we are. So what they'll do? I'm Rebecca Glenn. Robot ears, stand by. Right here we go. In the go. last war, if you remember, we had detonator. Now we introduce napalm. His main weaponry is this arm, which goes up and then it activates the micro switch at the back. Which I won't make fun of my own country's action. I won't make fun of my own country's action. Go on, napalm! The 15 year old girls driving the Oh, they're 15, okay, fair enough. I, I apologize. David Crosby, the last time he was on the program, did his nut! And there's a killer lock coming in! He just in caught in the wall! What the fuck? That's He's not moving. fair! He's magnificent! <laughs> He's menacing! Napalm, one of the heavyweight robots, but look at that, a lightweight! In the arms of Sakilla He just got Lott. fucking stuck on the wall and mush! And the chainsaws come off! That's the weapon! Oh, they got. look so sad! 16 inches long in oh. the but it's no opponent for Sakilla Lot, and he could dominate robot wars! Napalm's Jeez. driven in onto the tank track! <laughs> Pathetic! We're green away in Rebecca Glenn. Sort of ambushed by it, it wasn't. Just, it wasn't, Craig. Kill. That was yeah. just bad. What have we got? I just want. Are they, are they just going to fight, or are they all just going to walk through walls? Over again? Hell, not with are they just getting yeah. stuck in walls? And now away from the barrels. Gotta be closer this than that. Panda, this one I like. Hold on, hold on. Let's find a different episode because they're just plowing through walls here. Uh. Right. Let's let's try this one. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I didn't check any of these, by the way. I just fucking, I just put them on. God, they're all so low quality. Sorry, chat. Hold on. Okay, here we are. Let's, let's start on the semi final. Let's go on the semi final, right? Because at least, at least they're going to be fighting, right, in the semi final, surely. Let's see who's up. This is it, the first of our series semi-finalists. Napalm leading the way into our sixth Wait, Napalm made contenders. it through? They didn't even get through a wall. Mace. They didn't even get through the first fucking <laughs> with the deadliest of axes. <laughs> the uplifting shovel and pneumatics of Bermont. <laughs> We've Kinetron's pickaxe and the charity outsiders panic attack. Only yeah, panic attack fucking this. Right, I want to talk about panic attack. When I was a kid, panic attack was my fucking mwah. Oh, it's such a good robot. It's so simple, right? Let me describe panic attack's design. It's literally a fucking cereal box with a flap on the front. That's all it is. Bear in mind, this is like 2002, right? And w its whole design was that it was so low to the ground, no one could get under it to flip it. And meanwhile, it's just scooping people up and throwing them. Oh, man. 
dude. Demon in the opening heat of this Napalm, you shit. You shit, Napalm. Robot Wars, we go. the Armageddon. Well, is that, was that Panic Attack description the This okay. is the gauntlet. You know Hello, how it goes by now. Fucking hell, you can out nowhere. Robot has to start at the oh, wait, you can't see. Sorry. Get to the end zone in as fast a time as possible without becoming immobilized or breaking Just down. Just fight but each other. Time, because they're semi-fun. Mace. Panic Attack, slightly the heavier. But certainly the faster. Robot Wait, race off. Look, it's a fucking cereal box with a flap. Three. Give me the fight. At least. Robot ears stand by. Is this the fight? Three. Surely this is Robot not the fight, right? Stand by. Robot ears stand by. Three. They're constantly standing right. Two. One. They won't be pleased that Killalot's been retrieved. Man, this... I just want them to fight, man. Hold on. Let me just... Let me just... Right, here we are. Splinters shivered and quivered, but the gleam is still there in the eyes of the survivors. Okay. Eight machines. So in the thumbnail, they're fighting, right? So let's have a look. Battle board. Here we go. The versus. Wait, who have we got? Chaos 2. Wait, okay, okay, okay. So let's talk about this. So I like Panic Attack. Panic Attack probably was my favorite, but Chaos 2 is, is fucking good. Okay, so let's get this semi final on the road to ruin. Let the wars begin. Yeah, thank you, Craig. From Durham, Firestorm. Firestorm's cool. Groundhog team in the last series return with motors Firestorm's from a lawn mower to and cordless driller flipping Stream X off right arm and an ignition <laughs> button to fire up a storm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Graham Bourne and I'm Alex Morgy and this is our robot Firestorm. It's a wedge shaped robot, um, runs at 36 volts and it's got long go kart tyres. Um, it's got three main weapons. It's got these belts in the front where you're going to need someone, the belt to pull them up onto the arm and the arm will push them over. The arm will also self right us, so if we get tipped over, we can flip ourselves back over. Yeah, We've also got this spike at the back. Be good. Firestorm, a very complete oh my God. robot. Look at that fucking shit. Oh, he's being gas fuck. That's Crusher, just, that's Nasher. too much. Look at that. And then up against the phenomenal facet using its Shremek, the self riding mechanism. Well, that that's so a real cool, of man. Of robot that's wars. so cool. Look and at this. Finally against the get mighty fuck, popular you, you team from Dublin. <laughs> Firestorm made its way through. Oh my god, that's so cool. I like Firestorm, man. Firestorm's pretty cool, actually. Graham Bone there on the left likes his Airfix models, and Alex Mordew on the I, right. I like Firestorm. I like Firestorm. Sixth From grade school project. Hey, man. Look. A nasty Nasher with grinning, gurning, yawning This is Pitbull. George, this is Mr. Worldwide. The force of three quarters of a ton can be rolled and isn't the most mobile. Can be rolled. Out of the Me too. Hello, Me I'm too. Ivor, and I'm Phil. And this is our robot, Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide! Oh, my God. We got Firestorm versus Mr. Worldwide. Uh, we clamp onto them and then we bite really hard. We've taught it a few tricks. We've taught it how to fetch and we've taught it how to bite. And nibble too, and that's that what nibble and bite are synonymous. Craig. In the first Come on. battle involving Pitbull, nibble onto the arena torch. Finished there and then. Next up for Pitbull, Pitbull was technophobic. Nah, Pitbull onto the arena Firestorm pit got this time. one in the bag. Chat, what do you and think? Finally, Firestorm. Fim. I think Firestorm's got this one the in the bag. Jaws got hard. Oh wait, I want to see. I want to see the, the Firestorm. Okay, guys. fantastic. Here we go. Firestorm, guys. Firestorm, how do you feel? Uh, silly. Pretty silly in these uh, furry cod pieces. Well, I wasn't going to mention it actually. I was just going <laughs> to leave everyone to wonder what on earth is the story. Well, it was the last match with Deodor. Um They said that if they were going to win, they'd wear them. So they lost, so we're wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I wonder why they lost. <laughs> well, yes, you look stupid. <laughs> the, what is this conversation? <laughs> There's not much. Pattern. What? Is... <laughs> In there, is, there? is there is there any oh, oh just get fight your robots you're no good at talking to each other just fight pitbull. the growler with firestorm's got this man pitbull's got pitbull tendencies team pitbull quickly away get up to 15 pitbull's miles buff. now firestorm's still the quicker oh shit oh and that's with not a good. sharper turning circle but look at the sharp teeth of pitbull grabbing hold of firestorm and this could be the first surprise of the semi-finals begin to flip firestorm, firestorm. flip your flippers flip robot. your flippers firestorm it's the only thing you can do good technical ability too there's matilda when i think get into the i think firestorm oh. leaving eyes but hit forming yeah oh that's that's not good that looks still managing to hold on to firestorm it's painful 
With those gnashing teeth. Oh, he's free. Shit, run. Run, Firestorm, run. Firestorm's the yellow one, by the way, chat. So you got a wedge under him, but he's got such a low shape. center of mass. It's going to be hard to... Oh! See superficial damage to the side of Firestorm. Oh. Created by Pitbull PTO. B's turn over. And can the barrel shape Pitbull... Look at that going wild. Rolling They're going fucking over. wild for Firestorm, no, man. Was, Get was fucked, by Pitbull. Pitbull. Was Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Spike. fucking Tortoise can't write himself. Has befallen Pitbull. And I'm not too sure whether Ivor can write this machine now. Oh, you're, you're fucked. Oh, look at them. They're coming. Easy pickings, their thing can work. Fucking. Irony, irony. See, this is what I mean. It's so unfair. In the UK one, after you lose, they will just continue to destroy your work. Slicing in to the cold <laughs> They just don't. They don't. Oh, look at this. Oh, fuck it. Fucking hell, Sergeant Mass. No need for flamethrower right there. Oh, my God. Firestorm just watching on. This is barbaric. Look at this. Pitbulls. Fuck, Mr. Worldwide. No. Someone in chat says. Poor old Pitbull. You're fucked, Pitbull. Why don't you let him go? Are you sure? Look at this for the tenacity of a Pitbull. It's beaten and still wants to He's fucking attacking the house. Well just... done. That's splendid stuff. Back again. <laughs> well done, Ivor. <laughs> oh. so, there, that's a, that's a Robot Wars robot fight. War. Now, chat, now I've shown you that. I want to show you my personal favorites, right? So, my favorite robot was Razor right now let me show you razor is oh, i've already watched this video <laughs> razor is fucking ridiculous if you've never seen british robot wars that's razor see that on the table what's so quiet razor hello everybody just call me ben here and welcome to the next countdown i am doing to celebrate the epicness that is Robot Wars coming back to life. Okay. Next up is a countdown of my top five favorite battles, including one of the most powerful robots in Robot Wars, in my opinion. Razor. However, I will admit, when you think about it, it's also been one of the more unluckiest robots in Robot Wars, <laughs> with numerous breakdowns uh, and technical thank you. problems Just call that me we've bad. seen throughout its time in the series. However, when there isn't a technical problem, Razor, Razor is seven. definitely one of the most destructive and powerful Yeah, okay, so let me explain, right? Let me explain, right? So you see this... Well, in the series, it's five Razor battles in Robot Wars. Right, you see... Okay, well, hold on, let's get a good pause. Again, right. just like I said in the hip... Oh, no, on. this one. Okay, this is my this. personal opinion, so if you don't agree with my... Right, you see this fucking claw, right? This claw chops through fucking steel. It just, it, what it does is it grips the robot and then it just presses the button and it's the, it was the first robot to use hydraulics, meaning that it uses like water pressure instead of air pressure, like pneumatics. It used water pressure to just clamp in and like there is fucking shots of it just puncturing pneumatic, like pneumatic tanks and just exploding robots. It's ridiculous. I want to get on with it, mate. I want to see. Number five, number five. Here we go. <clears throat> Who are we again? What the fuck is that? Fucking Pringles can? Razor versus Pringles can. Who's going to win? It's Razor. I'll tell you now. It, they have to win. Look, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Look at that shit, man. That is ridiculous. That is so cool, man. Look at it, it's so fucking, look, it's fucking smoking. It's got smoke coming out of it. All Razor's done is come up to it and do that once. And the best thing as well is that Razor can't be flipped either. Razor's got these little, little wings that it flips out. Well, he's happy. Oh, Pringles can's getting fucked here. Pringles can's gonna fucking explode. Now, man, here's the thing with the British UK robot wars. In the in the US one, the fight would have been declared over at this point. They would have said, like, nope, fight's over. He, you've won. But in the British one, they keep going. Razor is offering the Pringles can up to the drilling. Ro oh, man. Give me another one. Let's see number four. 
Who's number? Where's number four? It just keeps going. We get it. Okay, number four. Here we go. What's number four? Who are we up against? Pringles can got fucking wrecked there, mate. Okay. Razor. Oh, God, it's a three-way. It's a free-for-all. Okay. See, look how much cooler Razor looks to all of them. Oh, that's fucked. That's just it. It's just, it's just eating. If I was to fight any of these robots in real life, Razor would be the one I'd least want to fight. Like, for sure. Like, even if I had a weapon, that fucker would just, like, saw my leg off. And you can't flip it either. Some of them you just flip upside down and you win, you know? Oh, that's ridiculous. It's... Look, he's, he's trying his best. He just knows he's fucked. He knows he's fucked. It's over. I want to see number one. Show me number one. Where's number one? Is there like a, is there like a timestamp for number one? Oh, hold on. I want to show you another robot and then we'll, and then we'll go on to something else. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting into this now. There's this robot called Hypnodisc, right? Now Hypnodisc is a bit is a bit is a bit like cracked. Robot is stand by. Hypnodisc hypno Hypnodisc is my second favorite. And Hypnodisc's thing is that it's just a it's just a like a like a like a box. It's another cereal box, right? But on top of the cereal box, they put a giant spinning razor on top that spins at like 500 rpm and it just ew man just a disc and waiting to bloom 100 hours of a f right, a a so, 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 so bear in mind they fight until the end not until and not until one wins Bo, get on out of it in comes robo getting again though hypno disc spins and comes in on the attack oh goodness me poor old robo oh, getting the crumple driving it by hypno D-I-S-C, oh, no more letters in that, never mind. Hypno Disco, it certainly is though, dancing around on the attack of Robo, getting being shredded here. All that work, like a hundred hours and over four months to repair Robo, getting them shattered destroyed. in seconds. Look at them, they're like By the three times the kid's age. They're just mashing it up. Again, look at the front of it. Buckled and torn. It's sort of limping along. The shell fluttering away. Oh, not fair. It's not Almost fair. coming off. Hypno disc, you're not fair. Oh, how sad. The boggle eyes. The green fuckers. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you oh, should no. laugh. Look at that. Laid bare. Oh, oh it's not good. I haven't seen oh, a green dear, thing dear. get beat this Poor much. Poor old William Ryle. He's only 13. Oh, He's put this machine no. together. It's getting destroyed. <laughs> Those poor kids. Yeah, there's nothing left of it now. Like steam coming disc. out. What a mighty machine this is. Oh, man. It's too loud. Sorry. Let me try this one. I wanted to see it. Seen so far, I think, in this series of robot wars with that greatly powerful blade. Something came up stealth straight at the start there. I think it might have been a, a nut or a bolt only. Can they get in with the flipper? Have they realized that underneath it, no disc, grinding away. Oh, yeah, don't do that. On that great disc at the front. Again coming in on the attack on Stealth. Oh, just flipping it around and look at the back blade of Stealth. Immediately knocked to one side and buckled. I, just, I didn't say it last time, but that spike that comes out the floor. That one. When that was happening, someone in the chat just said, uh oh, pegging time. Goes the blade like, of Stealth. Bits and pieces flew. I want, to, I want to see. I want to see you mash something up. I want to see a timestamp. Give me a cool part. Give me a cool bit. I want this British guy to narrate all of my best moments. See, none of them have been cool. Man, man, Control F. Why are a bunch of white middle-aged men fighting 13-year-olds? That's the thing, man. It's just like, it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. You can come and get your robot completely destroyed. You can come and get your robot completely mashed up. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> Why am I so invested? Go watch them, man. Go watch them.
Holy shit. F. What's the F? Well, for the other one that got mashed up. Jesus. Good night, Will. Hey, I need to F, F. What with the F? What? We'll play Geo Guess. So, yeah, why is everyone saying F? Why is everyone saying F? Fill me in. Fill me in, chat. Why are you saying F? Don't just say F more. Hypno disc just wins. That's why we're saying F. F to pay respects. I know that, but like... What? Opinion on Nando's? I love Nando's. Nando's is great. Give me a give me a card. That one that you get everything with. It means respect. I know what it means. I just don't know. F in the chat is like rip. Oh, okay. But like drip for what? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Right, do you guess the time? Yeah? Cool. Geo guess the time, me thinks. Or do you want more chill time? Uh, can we do a poll mods? Uh, chill time or geo guess time? Either one is fine with me. We'll do geo guesser another time either way, but this might be one of the only chill streams I do because I'm I'm not I'm not too big on the chill streams anymore. Any updates on the podcast? Yeah, it takes a lot of energy that I just haven't had at the moment. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll get back on it. And when I get back on it, I'll get back on it regularly too. It won't be just like back for a bit. You are not chill. Okay, sorry. Who would win? Hypnodisc or Razor? Razor, I think. Razor would win. Easy. Yo, Razor kind of hot though. You, are, you, you need to calm down. You need to calm down, I think. Okay, it's looking it's looking like chill time. That's good because I'm 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 sleepy already. Uh, I'm not too good at more than an hour of streaming. Meow meow meow. Cool. Chill time is one. Uh, as the chill. As it Victor is hot. So how are we all doing today, chat? How are we all? I can call up someone if you want. Who should I who should I see if they're around? Should we uh should we see if Tommy Innit's around? Call him. Tommy in it. Fucking child. Let's see what he's about. Let's see what let's see what he's what his angle is. What's his angle? What's your angle, Tommy in it? Let's find out. Cool Technoblade. I don't know if Technoblade's around. Uh no, he's on Do Not Disturb. I'll just leave him. Yay, Tommy. Tommy. Yay. And no one celebrates the child, please. Leave, don't celebrate the child. Okay, he didn't pick up. He hates me. He hates me and everything I stand for. Hey, friends, if you're watching the stream, just message me. If you wanna, if you wanna come hang out, if you wanna, if you wanna chat to me, chat to little old me. I'm here. How are we all doing? Uh. Oh, what should we talk about, chat? What do you wanna, what do you wanna chill out and chat about, man? You're all saying names now. I'm done with names. Just if if friends are watching and want to join, they can message me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reach out to people because they're all pretty busy. Uh, he ignored you because you called him a child. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs, everyone. By the way, thank you, Niam Sophia for the five bread rolls. What do you want me to talk about bread rolls? Did you get a whopper? N no, I I haven't got a whopper. What's a I haven't been to Burger King in a while, actually. I could go to Burger King tonight, actually. That'd be fun. Phil's a Minecraft. He's so brave. He is so brave. What's been your favorite moment as a content creator so far? That's an interesting question. Let's do Q&A. Fuck it. Q&A time. What's been my favorite moment as a content creator? I love meeting with you guys at conventions and stuff. That's really cool. But. Fuck. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I feel like the best is yet to come. I feel like there's going to be a moment in like this year or next year that's going to be like the best bit. The, that's going to be like the massive moment for me. Tam's level two, thank you for the five gifted. And it'll be cool. And you guys will hopefully be there, I hope. And you guys will enjoy it too. Uh, what are your pronouns? He, him. Uh, what, stress, what stresses you about being a full-time content creator? Um, it's a lot. There's a lot of stressful things about being a full-time content creator. It's not as not as much as some people. It doesn't affect me as much as some people. 
Uh, I think a lot of people, there are a lot of harder jobs uh, in the world, for sure, obviously. Oh, that's a fucking no-brainer. But like, yeah, I think the hardest part is the, is, is the expectation. It's the, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't put in a, a, a weak shift, you know? Which is, which, which I could in every other job I've had, I could put in a weak shift and no one would care. But I can't put in a weak shift with, uh, with, with content creation. Tips about handling anxiety. Oh my god, if you can let me know, please do. Uh, how I deal with it though. Um, it's all the, all the tips I can give you for anxiety are all so cliche. Seek help is obviously the best one. Always, always seek help and always listen to your doctors and stuff. But the, but I'd say the best, you know, but I think the best advice is listen to your brain, you know. Be aware that anxiety is, exists for a reason. It doesn't exist to upset you. It, everyone feels anxious. And I know I, 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 I suffer more than most. And I know you probably suffer from it too, if, if this advice is important to you. But like, listen to your mind and acknowledge what can you do right now to fix the anxiety that's that's that was the big one for me when i was when i was younger it was what's what can i do right now to sort it out and the answer is normally if you sorry i was pooing what do you want child i'm talking about anxiety oh tell me about it well how would you fix anxiety not fix but how would you how would you help deal with anxiety tommy what's your advice do you want my bit answer or my genuine answer? I want answer? your genuine answer. Don't, well, don't make a bit of anxiety. Genuine? So, well, uh, fucking, I wasn't sure what the tone yeah, of the stream was. What do you mean you're not sure what the tone was? is? It's all about anxiety. Well, I'm not on the stream, man. Um, just I don't know. It's all about it's all about things being out of your control. So you can just do as much as you can to put things that's, in your control. That's literally exactly what I said. That's exactly what. Oh I said. well, I'm so I was literally pooing, so I didn't know. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's a good thing. It's good that we both agree. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, it's, it's about putting things in your control. Is anxiety meeting your own needs? Yeah. You know, yeah. That, that's all it's about. And I think you just gotta spend some time to recognize your own needs. Yeah, true. Hey, Tommy, we're doing a Q and A. Ask me a question. Uh, what makes you the happiest? Uh, not being around you is that's when I'm at my peak. I'd say. Uh, it's not true. It's true. It's pretty true. Uh, oh, really? I'd it's say not. that. <laughs> what do you say? No, it's not. People like being around me. I ask them. <laughs> I do little feedbacks. I think. Um, I think it's. Uh, um, what makes me the happiest? Making things. That's why I'm here. Cool. Making things. What man. do you want to make? Just anything, man. I will make anything. I've, I'll, dude. Someone just said, "Do you fear death?" We're getting, <laughs> we're getting into a very. <laughs> I was expecting a much gentler Q and A. Oh, I said, it, it was. Oh, sorry. It was. Do you fear death? Followed immediately, like by, "Do you want to come to Latvia?" <laughs> I don't fear death. Do you not? I live every day knowing that death beckons me. <laughs> What does that mean? What? Beckon? The, yeah, the word I just said. I just said it. Cools. Like, like. Oh, yeah, no, no. I know. Death isn't ready for me. Death isn't. That's fucking powerful. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wilbur, uh... what's your Hogwarts house? I'm a Slytherin, I think. What are you, Tommy? I don't know. I've not Tommy's really big Harry Gryffindor Potter. energy. I've not watched Harry Potter. All I know is I'd be the protagonist. I think, I think you're. Yeah, you're big Gryffindor energy, man. I'm a Slytherin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Why? a Slytherin, and I'm also a millennial. Hashtag, hashtag love wine. Uh, oh, I, you know what? I love, love more wine, than wine. Will love Harry Star Potter. Signs. I just, I just can't start the day Aries, without my baby. coffee. <laughs> the only thing I love more than wine is my star signs. Will, but what? Which one are you? I'm most of them. Very. <laughs> <laughs> You're all of them at once. I'm all of them. All of them at once. I pick my favourites and then I become it. You go... Today I'm Capricorn. Oh, fuck that. What? No. That's the song. That's how it goes. No, no, no. Every Tuesday I'm an Aries. You're just an Aries full stop, aren't you? No, just on Tuesdays. I swear you're just like an Aries, just generally. No, no, no. <laughs> what does star sign mean and why? Let's not go into this. What's your name? My name's Will. How about you, Tommy? T 
harm. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you telling me you've been lying to me this entire time? Are you telling me you've been lying to your fans? Who, who are you? Are you <laughs> Do I even know you? You've been lying wait, to wait, your wait. fans, Tommy. If this is a lie, does that mean the Dream SM... No. No. Is it scripted? No. Wait, if it's scripted, wait. Wait. I want to move on. Wait, wait. Where's Sally? Wait, if I pull up the globe and look for Last Nevadas, will it not be there? L what, say that again. Last Nevadas. Last Nevadas. How do you say it? I say, Last it, like, Nevadas. I say it just like you, Tommy. I say. I like, like Nevadas. You. You're really right, Tommy. You're really right. Favorite memory? What's your favorite memory, Tommy? Mine is mine is being born. Yeah, yeah. So I, there was all it was all blackness and dark, yeah. and then there was a big gush of light, and then I and then I stepped out and I went, the world's about to change, and that was when I was born. <laughs> you stepped out and went, oh, oh <laughs> no, the world ain't ready for me, bitch. Death isn't ready for me. <laughs> Death ain't ready for me. And then you punched the midwife. <laughs> I said, oi, midwife, get me an orange juice, stop! Uh, but to her, that was just rah, 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 because I was a baby. Yeah. 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 Will How's there be a cooking bean? stream anytime? What? When have I ever hinted I'm going to do a cooking stream? <laughs> why? Yeah, why would I do that? Well, I can cook for me. I appreciate food too much to ruin it for the people. I, yeah, I appreciate food too much to have myself ruining it. I'll, I'll order a Wagamama on Uber Eats and eat that, but that's about as far you as I go to cook. Mamas, you, oh, I love my Wagamama! in my hotel room, and I had to and clean up And it smelled so your, damn good. I had to clean up your fucking curry. But, but do I? Oh, but I no, it wasn't a curry though. Was that the problem? Because I didn't pick the katsu chicken curry, and I still regret it to this day. It's one of my biggest regrets, man. Oh, wow, wow, wow. How's the stream been so far? It's been fun. We watched Robot Wars. Yeah, yeah, I saw a bit of that. Oh, so you have been watching. Yeah, I, I watched the introductory. Opinions section. on Brexit asks Connor Eats Pan. Go on, Tommy. <laughs> no. You, you weren't old enough to vote in it. I uh my opinions on Brexit? Yeah. Not quite sure yet. There was a Greg's near where I live that got shut and we all called that Gregsit. Because we all were really upset about it, so <laughs> that's 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 about as far as I, I voted go. in the in the Brexit. I did. Yeah. I was, I what do you like? What do you I like? I was there Brexit? on the front lines of the referendum. Yeah. Yeah, I did. What's your I favorite? I bet you were all like, let's leave. Tommy? United States, Wyoming. Why? Have you, why? Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that, huh? <laughs> what do you think of Wyoming? What's your favorite part of Wyoming? Wilbur, huh? Wilbur, I don't know. What's, I your just... favorite, what's your favorite part of Wyoming? You, you, you prick. The bit with the sand the, um, in it. Uh, I don't know if there's much sand. Apparently, I'm quiet. Has better? there been any conflict during this stream? Uh, what, between me and myself? What about a rising action? Yeah, there has been a rising action. Have we yeah. reached the climax yet, or am I in the falling action? We're in the falling or action, right? Now. Oh, God. We're in the Fuck. falling action. We're winding down. Okay. Have you ever taken the Myers-Briggs test? Yeah, I have. Which What's one's that? the Myers Brig test? Is that the shit one or the good one? What's the Myers Brig test? Uh, uh, Myers Brig test is. It's the shit one. It's the shit one that believes that every single human being on Earth can be divided into sixteen different people. I'm all fifth. I'm fifteen out of sixteen. Yeah, I think I. I don't like Myers Brig test, man. I haven't done that one. I've done you it though a while them. ago. And I'm an I am an ESFP, I believe, or an I I think I'm an ISFP actually. I think I'm an ISFP. I like the colours of your shirt. Thanks, man. It's like it's like the goggy shirt. It says Osaka. Bit shit. It says Osaka on it. See if it said George, I found that'd be fucking lit. <laughs> Do you know where Osaka is? Near Wyoming. You're correct. Yeah, I'm an ISFP. Wait, really? No, it's no. But it's in Japan. You. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, man's an ISFP. Tommy's definitely <laughs> ESFP. I have no idea what I am. It's like a. It's, it's, well, here's the. I'll send you the photo. You tell me. The what only doctor note I've ever received is just the word swag. So fair enough. Here you go. That's 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 the. Which one are you? Um, uh, I'm a healer. <laughs> <laughs> You're the healer, huh? I heal. 
in your in I can't read that's too low res for me to read. I just see the word society and that just hurts. Society. Yeah, Where? that's the only word I can read on the top line on the right. That's the only word I can make out of that. Am I going blind? <sighs> Why does it say society? On the, you're going blind, man. Under healer on the right. Society. Adding so no oh. bile bisnars adding society. Notable servants aiding society. That does not say that. It does. It says notable servants. Oh, oh noble. It's, it's, noble. It gotta be your, it's got to be your stream quality. Oh. Oh, balls. I don't think you're the healer, Tommy. I'm a healer. I don't think you're the healer. You're definitely Who wants healing. E. You're an E. I'll Tell you what I do like. I do healed. like the um, the numbers. What's the numbers in personality? You're test? a composer. Is you're that the a, one you're that, a that cock? <laughs> I'm not a cock. I am the composer. Yeah, I'm, I'm composed boy. Apparently, ISF. I'm the. Uh, what's the What's the numbers one? The um. The one that make makes everyone cry except me. Yeah. What's it called, chat? Enneagram. Enneagram. Woo! Enneagram. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! That sounds like that word when you um rearrange letters. Yeah. Yeah, just a just a quick spitball of a thought for you there. I'm a I'm a three and an eight. I don't know what the W means. I'm not. I wouldn't want the internet to know about my personality. I know what yours is. I know we did. This I don't. Thing. I don't want the internet to figure me out. So. I don't know what the W is. I don't know what the W means. But I think I'm a three and an eight. That was the one I I got the most on. Read in your chat. Yeah, what are they saying? Yeah. W is wing. That doesn't help. <laughs> There's no. Um. Oh, would I? So I'd be like three and nine, or three and six. Because I'm probably. I can read you out some questions if you'd like. Yeah, please do. Read me out questions. Oh, I do. Wilbur and Tommy, what are your thoughts about the ship Dream Not Found? He kept. Do you remember yeah, that? George kept mentioning he kept, that. He kept mentioning it, and then you were I like, oh, "That's pretty it. cool." And then you went, "You went no." Yeah, I I learned about it. I was I was like, because he he said he made a DNF joke, and I said and I said, "What's DNF?" And he said and he said, "You don't know what that is." And I went, "No." And he went, "It's Dream Not Found. It's our ship name." And I recommended his ship name should have said be Gream. Gream. <laughs> Gream. Gream is far funnier to me. <laughs> I love Gream. 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 I saw how. <laughs> or Does George, anyone follow the George. Gream joint account? Yeah, Gream. Gream was where I thought it should be. Yeah, he, he mentioned it quite a lot, didn't he? Yeah, he mentioned it. And I, I, yeah. I felt really bad because I, I thought it was serious. When yeah, he so talked about, when like, he talked, because he was like, he was like, that's our ship name. I went, oh shit! Like I genuinely was like, oh shit, George and Dream are actually a thing. I was like, yeah, I, I was yeah. like, so I went, oh, I didn't. I said I didn't know that you would yeah. like. <laughs> No, I felt so bad because yeah, I was like, being genuine. Like, oh, I thought he was. I thought he'd like, just come so out cool. to me. And, or they went, no. and he went no, and he was like, and he just went no. And I went oh okay. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, <laughs> I was because I was. I felt like a, I felt insensitive for not knowing earlier, and then it just turns out he isn't. And I was like oh okay. He was he 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 fucking baited me in. <laughs> Bit of a lie, innit? You got lied to to your face. He, yeah, he lied to me, man. Yeah, he did lie. <laughs> Most yeah. things I say. I'm to a gre lies. I'm a green truther. Apparently, apparently that's a thing. I'm a green oh, truther. <laughs> this is some cult shit. Yeah, it's a. I'm a green. <laughs> I'm. I'm. In induct me into the cult. I'll be a green. I'm a level truther. three green truther. I'm a level three As opposed three to a green. dodge, a dodge, plopper. Plopper. Mm. I'm struggling for words. At yeah, the you're having a rough time of it, aren't you? Can I talk about yeah. what we did in your vlog? That was fun. No. Why? I don't want you to. Why? Because then people will go, oh shit, when it comes out and be really excited. Whereas now they'll go, oh look, cool. But I don't think they'll go, about. oh shit, about the idea. They will, it's cool. It's a, It was a cool thing to do, but will they say, well, no, I won't say about the one that's coming out this week. Even though what? they definitely know that one. There's two, you can talk about the theme briefly about the theme park, but not the one after, because that one's too. That one's what can too I say hard. about the theme park? Uh, can I just give you? A, can I say a, a real just analysis of Alton Towers? Yeah, yeah. It was cool. I liked it. 
I like the smiler. I felt like I was going to pass out. I don't even want to fucking talk about it. Anyway. <laughs> You're bringing back What shit. can I talk about the other one? The next mm, one. Just about George, but not about anything we did on it. I don't... Oh, you please, can't... Don't spoil it. No, please. no, it was too good. It was so fun. It was the most fun I've had in ages. I Yeah, I don't want you to talk about it. I don't want you to. Can I talk about the fact that afterwards, when we were all finished, you, you just kept going? <laughs> What? Oh, when... <laughs> oh yeah. Well, no, I know. And I can I talk about where George was? <laughs> no, no, I don't want you to talk about it. I don't... I, I... Come on. Oh. <laughs> I fuck. I want to yeah. leak it. No, don't, don't. What about us when we were in the car and George spanked a burger? Yeah, you can talk about anything in the car. That we doesn't drove. spoil anything. It was the first car. time we, we it was the first time we got a lift back and no one felt sick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. Do you remember Phil? Oh no, no, George oh, felt sick. Time. George felt sick because of the I uh, Everyone always feels sick after the When we were time. doing the thing, when yeah. we did the vlog, there was a substance around us that I can't name because it might give it away that George <laughs> that George drank a lot of. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What? Uh, there was a substance around us. <laughs> okay, there was. Uh, can I say what we were in? Then? Okay, you, okay, you can tell in the Instagram photo that I posted that George has wet hair, which okay. is probably enough. So there was a lot of water around us, and George accidentally drank it, a lot of it. And then in the car ride home, George was ill from the water awesome. then because we had it the wasn't Matthew clean. Day. I was also ill, and then we had a McDonald's, and it felt, and everything was okay. Everything, and Big Russ comforted us all. <laughs> Big Russ did comfort us, <laughs> and when he finished vaping, <laughs> when he finished ripping fat clouds, he ripped, well, we all love Big Russ. Every, every, time, I, a, every time I see Russ, he's, every time I see Russ and he's vaping, I always go, "Yo, Big Russ ripping fat clouds," and he always goes, <laughs> "I'm sorry." And I'm like, no, it's Pog. <laughs> Ripping fat clouds, yeah. You always shout that. And he always goes, sorry. And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm mm, like, Russ. Russ, it's okay. I go, Russ. Russ, it's okay. Everyone's got to rip a few clouds and Everyone's got to rip a few clouds every now and then, Russ. Every, everyone's got, you know, whether that's farting or, or vaping. <laughs> you just got to. Yeah, no, we've been having a lot of fun. I have, at least. Uh, no one else has. Uh, uh, I'm the only one that does them voluntarily, though. Yeah, you didn't even pay me. Oh, everyone else I force. I say, show you, up. You pay me in exposure, literally. I'm paid in exposure. Yeah, no, I, what, what I often say to anyone I work with is, um, I'll pay you in exposure. Otherwise, get the fuck out of my life. Um, yeah. And it very rarely it's works. It's, it's funny, like, the paying in exposure thing is obviously a meme, but like, it's pretty good exposure. Yeah, man. Like, you, had, like, you had a really good sub month, didn't you? Thing. Doing all the when you were doing all the mod videos, all them started. You had a really high sub month, didn't you? I did, but I don't really care about my subs. I'm happy with my man. Hey, Tommy, how close are you to ten mil? Uh, nine point five nine. Oh, that's far. That's, you got ages, man. Oh, I don't mind. That's like a whole week. <laughs> Tom Simons will get there first. It's like a whole week away from ten mil, man. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. What will I do? What do I? What's the point? You should just delete the channel. I think. This sucks. This, How much I do I, I have to pay you to delete the Tommy Innit channel? I wouldn't. Not the Tom Simons channel. The Tommy Innit channel. We talked about this in depth when we were Vic Star. Oh yeah, we did talk about this. Is a Vic weird, this is a weird deja vu. This sounds great. Oh, I love this. Any side men fans, you'll be happy to know that Vic Star is is a legend. He is incredible. He, is, he was he just is incredible, a genuinely he? lovely guy outside of filming and inside of filming. Even he we is. tried to make him mean and he couldn't do it. <laughs> when we showed up at the door, he was like, yeah, we were like Vic, I, we need you to shout at us," and he, we had to take it about four it, when, when times. Because we didn't, we didn't like. Obviously, we didn't like stage it fully, but like we were like. We were like, hey, like, like, do you reckon you could be a little bit more agitated? And he couldn't do it. He just couldn't, could he? What do you oh, think of Bo so Burnham's nice. special? I thought it was amazing. I'm going to rewatch it this weekend. I thought it was excellent. Good. I really liked White Woman's Instagram. White Woman. White Woman. White Woman's Instagram. And welcome to the internet, yeah. 
Can I interest you in everything all of the, all time. Of the time? A little bit of everything <laughs> all, of the, all of the time. Apathy's a tragedy and boredom is boredom a crime. Too. Many thing and everything all of the time. I want to. I'd like to do a cover on the guitar. I think that'd be interesting. You should. I like it a lot. It's very good. It's very good. What did you think of wait, what is that from the inside? I thought it was. I thought it was good. What I said. I've already discussed this. I thought it was Not good. I thought no. I think um, I think people are going into it with the wrong wrong lens. People are going into it with a comedy special. I think it's a. I think it's a silly funny thing. What does that mean? Sorry, I think it's a it's a serious thing, not silly. I don't know why. My my brain just turned off there for a second. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a, a it, it's a serious bit of dark humor, you know. Yeah. You got to appreciate it. You really do. Yeah. Yeah. Go read some more of your chat. What do you? What, I I I'm I'm a bit of a contentious Bo Burnham fan. I have a lot of Bo Burnham opinions because I've been a fan of him for so long. I've been a fan of him probably longer than my chat have been alive. <laughs> oh well, this is a good. I'm good gatekeeping. Question. I'm gatekeeping. Yeah, what's up? Hey, whale boy. Yeah. Do you have any good tips for performance? For, for, for performances, I have one tomorrow. I'm quite scared. Wish me good luck, please. I don't. I really don't. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I don't. You're gonna, you're gonna be rubbish. No, it's it's like if know that people won't care as much as you do is the best thing. It's like like that's the that's the be all and end all. Think of the last performance you can remember seeing, and you'll probably realise you forgot your last performance because my last performance was probably a, like a live show in a pub garden. I don't remember anything about it. I just say good luck to you. Good luck. You'll do. You'll do great, and know that people don't care as much as you do about it. You'll be fine. Yeah, See, I'm luck. not good at advice. This is the thing. Philza does advice, and like you, you'd even do advice. I, I, don't, I don't know how streamers do advice. I'm a fucking Twitch streamer. I don't do advice, man. I'm so shit at this. Yeah. Yeah, you are. I don't. Yeah. I don't mind a bit of advice. Yeah, you're shit at this actually. I'll well. give you some advice, Will. Go on. Pull it together. Pull it together. Stop. stop. Just stop. Quit your job and stop. Quit my job. I don't have a job. <laughs> well, then quit even more. It's just, yeah. Go to bed, Wilbur, please. Why? I'm not tired. Well, I, I'm, 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 I'm worn out from stream, but I'm not sleepy. Are you getting the stream sleepiness? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, I did. About uh, at the end of the Robot Wars, I did, yeah. Go on, let's have one more question then. You look sleep deprived. Thank you. I don't feel it. <laughs> Thank you for just telling me that. <laughs> well, you, you look bad. You look shit today, actually. Well, funny enough. Well, what I like about the stream is that it makes me feel better about myself because I look at you. I set, I set a very clear boundary early on in my career. That I didn't want people sexualizing me, mainly because every, mainly because I understand a lot of my viewers are, are under eighteen. But like what that's ended up with is everyone respects my boundaries. Thank you. But like what I've realized is what that means is that no one tells me when I look hot. Everyone just says, oh, Will looks like shit today. <laughs> and, then, and then when I think I look like hot or sexy, everyone's just like, Will looks shit. <laughs> it's, that's, that's, that's the limit. That's where it goes. It's like I'll, the most, it's, 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 the, it's the best that it knocks me back down to earth. It sends me back down. <laughs> go on, find me one more question, Tommy, and then we'll go. Uh, currently, everyone's just calling you hot. In the I don't know. I, that was. I realized that. halfway through me saying that I, uh, that it sounds like I'm teeing yeah, people yeah. up to say that. I wasn't. Oh. Come on, give me a question. Um, yeah, I am. Sorry, I'm just getting through the compliments. Okay, <laughs> just digging through. Yeah, sorry. You, what you've essentially done is ruin your chat. <laughs> I did do it. Oh, I know how to ruin it. Everyone say come. Everyone yeah! say come. Let's get a bit of Woo! come in the chat. Everyone say come. Yeah. <laughs> This guy goes, you want compliments? <laughs> Everyone say, calm. Everyone say yeah, calm. Yeah, sorry, there, there calm. Are, there are very few questions. Current. It's currently just, just compliments and come. Yeah, there we go. We're fine now. We're, we're through. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm finding some more. How many advice? We, oh, it's gone. We can talk about something more question worthy. Will you do a panel at London MCM in October? 
Yes, what? yes, we will. Yes. Comic Con? I don't. Would they, are they we'll do a panel me? at anything. Me and you could do a panel where I just shout me, at me you. Me and you Tommy to would be it. the best fucking panels. I'm saying that if yeah, you we'll run an event, if you're an event manager, or you just like, or you know someone who's an event manager, please just recommend me to my. You know, you have my business email. Just recommend, get in touch with my agent and recommend me and Tommy for a panel. We would smash a panel, Tommy. We would be so yeah. good. Can you imagine? That would be so. God, it would be like a comedy. It would be like a stand-up routine. Oh, yeah, VidCon and TwitchCon is going to be sick. Oh, man. If it happens. I hope it will. We haven't got any news. So. Oh. God, that's so funny. Yes. Also, you went to EGX, right? Yep. What year times. did you go to EGX? Not the year you were there. I know. Why? I went, I, I went, do you know what's so weird, though? This mm. is real. I went the year Scott's Major was there and walked past him. But I was really... Because he has his, his, his YouTube name is Dang That's a Long Name. And it yeah. always really confuses me. But he was next to Jack's Looks at Life in that photo I have with him. But yeah. I just... I had no idea. <laughs> I, I I went to EGX. Uh, I, I, so I have some fun stories. I'm not... This isn't about EGX. This is about another convention that I'm not going to name. Because I think it's very funny. But um, I begged for ages when i had about 100k subs i begged to have a panel there and like to be a part of it and like to be like a featured creator and they refused uh they basically turned me down and were like and they were like no we can't we don't we don't do it sorry and then like all of my friends who were in like the same sphere were getting like getting like uh asked to come and no one was inviting me no one was and i felt so shit i, I hated it and now I'm like, I wonder if they'd invite me now. I want to know. I want to know if they'd invite me down. And I, I kind of want to say no. <laughs> Just out of spite. Out of petty spite. It was ComeCon. Wait, no. Don't, don't tell them it's ComeCon. Oh, fuck. Don't tell them it's ComeCon. <laughs> you should know him. I should what? You should go, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, ComeCon. Fuck you, ComeCon. Nah. What are you like? What are you like, Come? Nah. No burning bridges. No, bridge must stay. Right, well, what were you saying? Go on, more questions. Any origin SMP soon? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's it's. I'm trying to write the new. I'm trying to write the next part of my script. I would say, by the way, I want to say I'm not the head writer of the Dream SMP chat. Okay, I'm not right now. The only time I was ever the head writer was during Le Manberg and like the election and stuff, right? Before, now I'm just a co-writer. I co-write with everyone else who's intelligent and co-writing and brilliant and talented, all right? I'm not like head writer, okay? That's that's one thing I keep seeing in my chat. That everyone's like, oh, what, what, what are you writing? It's like, I'm writing my own stuff. Anything you see that involves me, I've probably I'm had mine. a- and, and Tommy, I'm writing Tommy's stuff as well. And Tubbo wants me to write his stuff. I'm basically writing Tommy, Tubbo, and me, and anyone else who asks me, right? But Quackity, I'm not writing Quackity shit. That's him. He's a genius. I'm not writing techno stuff. I'm not writing dream stuff, you know? Like, just, they're all smart and talented as well. Uh, not that the people who are asking me to write aren't smart and talented, but, you know, I don't give me all their credit, right? But if you enjoy my side of the story, then that's me. I'm doing that. So you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, yeah, be nice for that. I'm getting so tired, Tommy. I'm becoming so weird. Give me a question. We can talk about, see, I have, Who is head writer now? No one's head writer. We're co-writing. I can mention things that you will go, oh, we can talk about this. Go on then. Um, I think I'm going to have a bit of a holiday slash kind of break from Twitter for a while. Proper Wilbur Soot style. Wilbur Soot style. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I don't really have anything to say to that. I mean, I, I don't okay. know. I've, I've, I, I, I used to mention how much I quit Twitter a lot at the beginning because I knew that people would ask me why I was ignoring them on Twitter if I didn't make it clear that I was leaving, you know? Yeah. But I, I don't really care. You can, you can stay on Twitter. You can leave it. I don't even give a shit. I think it's fine. I think it's weird. I, 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 it's gone so much now. I just like, it's fine. I, I, I hear all this stuff though. It's weird. It's like another world. Like when we were in the car and George was telling me about all this stuff that's happening on Twitter. It's like... I didn't know any of this was happening, yeah. man. I didn't know. Like yeah. it's crazy. I think it's I think it's fine. I have no issue with Twitter. I think I think Twitter is a great place for people to meet and be friends and stuff. But then again, I haven't yeah. been on in a while. It could be different now. <laughs> it just stresses me out. But that's on me. That's my fault, you know. That's the thing. Never leave oh, Twitter I... for other people. Leave Twitter for yourself because like yeah. I, it's tw there's people on Twitter are fine. The stands are fine. Everything that happens on Twitter is completely fine, I think. It's just it's my problem that I'm so 
I'm so affected by it, you know? That's why I just don't look at it. I am... Um, it's not on I anyone think else. I thought recently quite a lot about this is, like... I just... <sighs> Twitter makes me feel like I, I need to be super politically active. I didn't, well, you know, I want to make you videos. You should be politically active, I think. I probably. should, but, you know, you should, exactly. You but I, I didn't help you with, with politics and stuff, man. I mean, I'm, I want to learn about politics. it as well, but, like, I'm really into learning about the LGBTQIA plus stuff, and I've always, you know, taken, like, loads of that. But it's learning about all this new stuff, and it's really stressful for me as well. I'm just thinking... Well, tell me it's not I, about I, you. I don't wanna... No, tell me it's not about you, man, honestly. It's, 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 it's that comes off as quite quite privileged that you're in a position where you can say that you know i think i yeah. think it's not it's not it's not twitter's responsibility to teach you it's your responsibility to learn and then to get better as a person you know i think yeah but i, I think, think i don't think i don't think i don't think you being like i'm trying my best to excuse anything you should you should you should learn about it and i can help you i can teach you stuff man but it's like you should yeah you can yeah, come to me i I'll just i know man i didn't i feel like i didn't sign up to try and feel like and i'm really up for it and well, of course i never want to friend is, anyone a... and learn loads about it but i get there's a lot more people listening to me now and it's totally different than it was a few years ago but it's yeah. not like i want to I, I didn't sit to be you know super politically a politically accurate role model that everyone looked like yeah no the, and you, you shouldn't have to be but i think it is also it's i want it, to just it's, i think yeah. it's every adult's responsibility to learn about politics though and then not not just not just you uh, and not just because of your platform. I think you. I think you. You're just in the spotlight, man. And you should. You should learn. And it's like the thing is, I was stupid as fuck when I was 17, man. I did. I. I was stupid. I didn't understand anything. Like I. I, I told a story about how like I didn't know what the F slur meant until I was like 21, 22. Like how how depressing is that? Like how crazy yeah. is that? I didn't know what it meant. And I even. And once I found out what it meant, I have these memories of using the word to mean stupid in front of my my friends who are gay and i just i don't know what was wrong with me man that's the thing you know people people learn people grow and it's and that's and it's and i think it's everyone's responsibility to to learn you know and to grow and to get better you know and i, I but that's not about twitter <laughs> twitter doesn't come into that you know anyway yeah. yeah we can we can talk about this after stream dude it's fine yeah, no, sure, yeah. give me another just... give me another uh conversation topic by the way, I also am. I did go back and apologize to those friends who I said in front of. I, I reached out to them like years ago about it. Yeah. Um, let me pull it up. Man's planning out. Have you got a list of questions? No, no, I have a, th a thing I'm planning out. You know, because I'm getting my office space. Mm -hmm. I'm planning out shit because I want it to be like an office. Question for you one, I'm wondering. Uh huh. Are there any Lovejoy posters? Not yet. I, we, we talked about this earlier too. Uh, I think you want to put up a Lovejoy one, poster in your room. Yes. That is. I will do one for you, Tommy. I will. Get, I will. Get, I will commission an artist. But second um, thing, can you okay. buy me some alcohol for me? But <laughs> not. <laughs> well. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? No! What? Why? why? No! What? Why do you want alcohol? For the office! No, I'm not buying you alcohol! You just said that you, but you said that you liked the poster idea. Yeah, but I said... No, Please. Tommy, that's like hella illegal. <laughs> and you're too yeah, but young. We, just, we won't tell anyone. No, I don't want you. Why do you want alcohol? What well, you just wanted to put in the background? Yeah, I'm gonna what? have a Craig. I'm gonna have a a crate of beer that I can't. Why don't you get your dad? Get your dad to get you some beer to put in the no, background. My dad won't get me beer, man. That's why I'm asking you. Well, no, I'm not buying. I'm not. I know you see me as like your Please. big brother. I'm not buying you, but no. Why? Because you're fucking seventeen. I'm not buying Russell, you alcohol. Russ would get me beer. George would. Get Russ, me beer. Russ and George would not get you beer. Russ and George would get me. No, beer. they Phil wouldn't would get me beer. Phil would absolutely get Phil, me beer. Phil, 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 Phil might, but he wouldn't give it to you to drink on your own. He'd drink it with you in a pub legally. That's okay, and I would then take it home with me and put it in my back. No, that's, that is now illegal. Yeah, but it's we just. I simply won't tell him. Phil anybody. would happily drink with you legally in a pub. I think, but I don't exactly. think. I, I went think... to the okay. I have a pub story for you. I was at the pub yeah. we were near Jack's house, yeah. and Jack was going right. Here's how you get drinks by being underage. Oh, you just have to be really. This isn't a good story, Tommy. 
Well, I tried, and then I went, am I allowed a drink? Because apparently uh, you're allowed to have them with food if you're under 18. Yeah, but this then... is from the Inbetweeners. I don't think Jack's ever tried to get uh, alcohol illegally. Tommy, I think he probably watched the episode of the Inbetweeners, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. That's just making sure. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, I'm not getting you fucking alcohol. Though. Please. No, you get when you're 18, you can have alcohol. You can buy as much as you want when you're 18. You, I, I drank too much last night, Tommy. I had a bit too much to drink. How was it? Are you it hungover? Fun. Yeah, I had a good time. Do you do have was, a headache? Uh, I, went to a, I went to the casino uh, and I had some... I had I had a bit too much whiskey. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, What's whiskey like? It's quite nice. It's, I, I had Jack Daniels honey, which is like quite sweet. So it was quite smooth. You went to a casino. Did you win any money? I didn't. I lost a lot of money. You shouldn't gamble. You should never gamble. Why not? Because you lose money and it's, it's stupid. The it's only silly. thing I gamble with is people's hearts. <laughs> Very good. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, never, don't gamble. Never gamble. It's stupid. It's, 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 it's very silly. It's very silly. If you, mm -hmm. if you ever go to a casino, go socially and just hang out with people. And, and lose money. Don't. Or make money. That's the fun of it. Uh, don't, don't gamble. Okay. Never gamble. All right, yeah. Don't gamble, guys. Anyway. What were you saying? More questions. Unless it's with CSGO. No. Um, let me pull. Everyone keeps head. mentioning the Eurovision. I don't, I just don't care. You know? Okay, because if I knew I was on it, I would have won. So, yeah. what's the point? If When I decide to the, go on uh, and put the, in the, effort, the, I will. The amount of points that the UK won in Eurovision is the amount of care I have for Eurovision. What is Eurovision? Yeah, good, good, good question. Carry on, what was your question? Give me another one. I don't know. I'll read some from chat. Go on. Oh, pardon me. I almost burped down the mic. That would have been... That would have been a that bit, would of, have a, been. bit, of, bit of a faux would par, asked. wouldn't it? It would have been a little bit of a faux par. A bit subpar, wouldn't it? Um, someone says, My dad lost my $20 and he still owes me. Fuck! Uh, the only thing... Um, Wilbur, how do you feel when a child runs up and recognises you, IRL? Don't care. I think it's, I think it's really cool. I think it's really nice and really cool. Why? Why? Would I, why I don't know how I found it differently. Do you have any tips for world building in a writing context? Yes! Woo! World building! Start with politics. Start with your politics. You want to find your leaders and your nations. That's the thing that people can hook themselves onto. It's what I did with the Dream SMP and Lemanberg. People find themselves hooking onto nations and and policies and and politics before they hook onto anything else design your design it can literally be two kingdoms it can be 20 it doesn't matter get a few kingdoms right you want to get leaders of said kingdoms that are in charge you want to write up personalities you want to write up what they believe in and then just for just for posterity you need to write up a future liege for those leaders right that's the bare minimum go as far as you need to go in any other direction for that do dukes do lords whatever it doesn't matter politics first next step is dungeons and exciting things for your players to do i assume you're talking about players if you're talking about a story then still this does still apply you want to make sure you build things that are explorable mysteries intrigue have have a have a have a local like like monster haunting the town that, that, that the villagers hate have have basically you've got to bear in mind that if you're making a a medieval or fantasy role-playing situation that almost every town will have rumors and almost every town and village will have will have like little things going on in the background and your players should have it as their job to go and solve those problems because that's where the fun comes from that's where that's what people are, are hooked into right so Part one, politics. Make politics, make kingdoms. Part two, intrigue. Make dungeons, make caves, make make rumors in villages of, of things that are killing people and eating people. Then make the story. Then you want an overarching story that your players can enjoy, such as a big evil guy at the end, right? And then, this is the hard part, number four, shops. I cannot stress enough. Write just a list of shops in every town what the person who runs the shop is like. How are the prices? Do they sell as well as buy? What do they think of outsiders? You need to come up with things like this because this is what makes your world feel alive. Because you can't describe every single passerby walking down the street, right? But your players can meet the innkeeper. Your players can meet the blacksmith. And the blacksmith will give you the impression that the passersby. So for instance, if your town is full of full of like xenophobes who hate outsiders right passers-by aren't all going to be spitting on your players necessarily but the blacksmith may tell you 
we don't like your kind around here. You know, there's, there's that kind of thing that's deeply entrenched in the societies of your nation. And that's how you purvey the world around you. And then the next step, I guess, is to do the Outer Plains. Do the Feywild. Do, if you're talking about D&D, &D, you need to do all the all the different things. And then make sure you can design areas to and from. But my most important thing to you is make sure your world feels alive. Make sure, make sure that whenever a party member walks into a shop, they aren't greeted with a fucking D100 table of potential shopkeepers. They are greeted with your exact like with like this is the blacksmith of this town i have planned this here he or she is there you go or you could just build a hotel yeah that works Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well well said carry on next question um What resources do you recommend to brainstorm? Brainstorm what? Don't know. How do you come up with ideas? Uh, I don't know. What ideas for what? It depends. How do you come up with ideas? Yeah, but ideas for what? I don't. That's not my problem. I don't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. No. I. That's a hard one. Me, Mister Mister Minecraft Butt Guy. <laughs> doesn't know where he gets his idea. Um, I was I was I the first Minecraft butt guy? Um, if if you go on Minecraft butt and sort, by I don't think anyone way. can ever truly be the first Minecraft butt guy. Okay. okay, okay, Tommy, in it. Give me your next question. Um, look, I'm looking to see if you're the first Minecraft butt guy. I was um. One of the I made the first like uh, funny Minecraft videos ever. <laughs> yeah, you did, but I think you took that title concept from me. No. Yeah, no, I don't from think I Tommy. Did. Tommy makes Surgeon Simulator 100% funny. It was the first one of that format, wasn't it? No, no, it was my one. What was your? What well, which one? Wh the funniest Minecraft video ever. No, no, the. X makes Y thousand. I yeah, I don't use that. I don't use yeah, that. But that's me. I came up with that. <laughs> and I was there. You were there, and you said when I said that to you, I remember you went, yeah, "That's an okay title." <laughs> no, I did not. I I'm. And now not, everyone I'm, uses I am, it. <laughs> I'm eighty five percent sure I came up with that title. No, you didn't. I can promise. I you absolutely. Didn't. I can promise I was in you, the you didn't. When you did. No, I can no, promise I can, you, you I'll kill you. you but didn't. yeah, I still don't. You didn't. I did. Okay. I absolutely we're gonna did fight. You, you, we're gonna fight, man. Oh, box me and make ten million dollars. In the new fight. vlog, I proper launched you a few times. <laughs> <laughs> like I proper beat the shit out of you a couple times. Yeah, and I remember that. And yeah, I won't and be that's what you're as I'm have to look forward to. It's me you get beating nervous the coming shit out of Tommy, like genuinely. Do you get nervous coming onto streams? Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. If All I right. knew, I'd try and fix it. Yes. Um. Uh, did you see Tommy get to Guinness Book of World Records? I did. I did. I did. It's very cool. I want to be in the Guinness World Record. Well, you're not, but I am. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Tips on starting cults. <laughs> I don't Tips know. Tips for starting a cult. Uh, what else is this? Uh, the, the, the convince the convince them that. Con okay, okay, the first, the first step beloved. for the first step for starting a cult is to convince like the is to convince your followers that opposition is is wrong. That's what I because I'm really into like 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 especially what like the. the what, like the Jonestown cults and stuff? Like, I'm really into that. At Heaven's Gate, I actually emailed one of those surviving members of Heaven's Gate and had a chat with them. I'm quite interested in, in cults. But, like, the big thing is if you tell the opposition that... the Sorry, if you tell your followers that the opposition are inherently wrong and anything they say is 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 nullified, then your followers will do whatever. That's what they did in Jonestown. They told them that the police and everything was, like, completely wrong. That's what they said, man. This guy says, hey, is it bad that I got very upset when my friends went out and didn't invite me? Uh, it's not it's it's not bad. It's 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 natural. I mean, Saline Solution has a lyric about that. Literally at the end, it's some um, uh, 
void the plans friends are making. That was inspired by, I remember back in 2018, that I wasn't invited to a party and that was, and I wrote the ending of Sailing Solution after not being invited to the party. And, uh, and I was also very anxious that day too. And that was, um, and that, that was, that lyric was based off of that, uh, was based off of yeah. the idea of, of being left alone. So no, I think it's very normal to feel sad, uh, but you shouldn't hold it against them because I can guarantee you it's more simple than you think. <laughs> it's that you weren't ignored or forgotten. It's most likely that there was just a mistake in communication, you know, or they made an assumption that was wrong. Maybe they thought you were busy because they heard from someone else, you know? Don't take it personally, but don't feel Tips weird to feel with that way. social anxiety. Uh, How to get over it? Was I'm not very good at. I'm not. I've, I've I've never really suffered social anxiety. I can't really can't really tell. Okay. Um. Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it said. Just breaking needle arms, Tommy. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you remember the dome? That was oh, I just remember. I I built the fucking dome plotline on the Rust server around my knowledge of cults, dude. Do you remember? Oh yeah. That was like funny. that was the whole thing was that I told everyone that I taught everyone that the opposition were inherently wrong. That's what you do. I miss the Rust server, dude. Yeah, Rust, is really Rust nice. isn't trendy anymore, but we should do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play some Minecraft 1.17 later. Nice, good for you. Excited. Thanks, Will. It's like Rust. <laughs> well, 1.17 Minecraft, it's like Rust. Yeah, I don't know. I am. I'm very excited. Um. I've just left school and I want to get a job and I've been sad about doing nothing. I don't really play games either. How could I how could I better spend my time? Good question. That is a great question. Do you want to know why that's a great question? Because I, I again, we're going into a vice zone. I'm not too good at advice, but that I I can probably I can probably give my two cents on this. That is a great question because you know what? You've been sat you've been sat around, you haven't been doing anything. You've been you've you've been missing out on your life. Guess what? Everyone on earth has been for the past year, my man. You're not behind. You have plenty of time. You're not alone. Just figure it out in your own time, right? And that it'll come to you. It'll come to you in, in a blur. So I, I always say some of the most interesting people I've ever met have no idea what they're doing at age like 50. <laughs> mm. Don't be worried about your time ever. That's, ever. that's like a line from Wear Sunscreen. It is. It's a line from Always Wear Sunscreen. That's my advice. Listen to Always Wear Sunscreen by by Baz Luhrmann. Even if you don't relate to that that problem, you'll that's the best advice I can give you. Listen, it, everyone, all 112,000 of you. I'll, best I'll advice, link it in the chat. The, of, yeah, I'll link it. it just today, throw it in the chat a ton of times. Listen to Baz Luhrmann, Always Wear Sunscreen. Click that link Tommy's putting. That is my advice to you. And read really the good. lyrics. Read the lyrics through carefully. And change beauty magazines to social media <laughs> in the lyrics. <laughs> Um, is it Baz Luhrmann? I'm, I'm, I'm being an idiot. It is, it's not yeah, Baz. It's Baz oh, it's Baz yeah. Luhrmann. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Baz yeah. Luhrmann. Yeah. Cool. Um, One more question, then I'm gonna go. Okay. College and A level advice. Uh, I failed all my A levels. The next one. <laughs> okay. One more. Can't answer that one. Uh, when is the new Lovejoy song coming? Soon. Uh, we haven't written half of them. More than half. Three quarters of them aren't written yet. But the ones that are written are pretty pog. <laughs> No, Wait, no, Tommy, I, I want to send you. I, I, send I you can one. vouch for them all. Wait, hold on. Can we can we listen to this on stream quickly? Uh, sure, finish. I'd love to. It's the I've already played it on stream briefly. Uh, I played it on stream with like uh, without through my phone. But pause that at zero zero. Tell me when you're ready. I'll tell you when to stop as well because I'm not gonna listen to the whole thing. Okay. Okay, because mainly because the lyrics are nowhere near done. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh wait. <laughs> Why am I? Three, I'm counting. Two, I'm counting one. in like we're okay. about I'll to count start in. playing. I'll count yeah. in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right. So this was recorded on a phone. I'd like to add. Okay. One, two. <laughs> Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Remember, shout AM. And I just bit my tongue 
completely changed, I'm going to talk over again, this bit's completely changed. I wish they were mine. Wait, let pause it. No, you can. Okay, cool. I can still smell a perfume. Yeah, you've heard this, right? Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, I didn't rub off on you. Okay, just pause it there, that's fine. That's enough, that's all they get. Okay, chat. Oh, I'm going to keep listening. You, you wank. Uh... Chat, thank you for coming down. Thank you for hanging out. You're the best. All of you are wonderful. Even if you're here because you hate me, even if you're here because you love me, I don't care. Thank you for coming and enjoying. Thank you for listening to me, uh, because I am I am like I am like the mute who has given the megaphone. I've been given a platform but have nothing to say. I'm so I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I would raid Sneak Snag, but I think he's watching true crime stuff and that might upset people. You guys so. can watch me in a little bit. Yeah, Tommy's going live soon, but uh, go old, see Sneak old. if you're interested in true crime. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to raid... Dogs! 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 Oh, no, it's kind of a waste. I, I want to raid someone okay, who needs it, you know? Who should I raid, Tommy? Uh, for me, it's only Connor, Botez, and Sneak alive. Okay, I'll do Connor. Uh, it's not letting me. Okay, tell you what, I'll I'll pick a new raid in a second. Will, you can host it. I will. I'll pick. I'll, I'll host someone in a minute, uh, and I'll pick a new raid. Don't don't go to anyone yet. <laughs> uh, goodbye, guys. Have a good day. Farewell. Night, Whee! everyone.